like something that they saw your method, do they like take into account your your methodology and like how to approach the question? So when I decide whether I want you as my student in Trinity or not, I don't care what you already know. I don't care if you've memorized the capitals of all the uh, countries in the world or stuff like that, or if you've memorized all the formula for doing derivatives and English. I really don't care. I care how do you approach a problem that you can't solve. Okay? So I will keep asking you questions until they're hard enough that you can't do them. If you already can do them, I don't care. I'll ask you harder questions. Once we get to a question that you can't do, then the interesting part begins. I say, okay, do you get frozen and stuck? Or do you, do you try this, try that, try that? What approach do you do? What, why do you think this is not going well and I'm going to try this other thing? How do you decide to generate another idea? And if I give you a hint, can you make good use of the hint? Or do you get ah frozen into whatever you're thinking before and the hint doesn't make any sense? So I want to see how your brain works under this kind of pressure. And that's all, that, on that basis, I choose who would be working well in the Cambridge environment. Because that, that's how it works for real. So you go to a course, you get exposed to things you didn't know. Some of them you understand, some of them you don't understand. And then in the afternoon and in the supervision, we go through the things, the things that you found the hardest. We say, okay, let's see if we can work it out. It's no good me telling you the solution because then it goes one ear, comes out the other. But if I give you a hint, can you now figure it out? You couldn't figure it out this morning when it was lecture. But if I tell you this other thing that, you know, it also applies to rivers. Ah, does the light bulb come on or not? So we kind of simulate that experience for what you can do in half an hour. And then we try to do our best to figure out, well, actually, this person has it. Or this person is very clever, but is very formulaic. It wouldn't work. So don't worry if you can't answer the question, because by design, you won't be able to answer. If it's, if it's a question we ask, you won't be able to answer that. It's not a sign of failure. Okay. <laughs>